Assalamu alaikum aziz talabalar. Bugün video dersine sizlerle Mirza Ulubik namdaki Uzbekistan Milli Üniversitesi Horeci Filologi Fakültesi İngiliz Filologi Katedrası Oktorçısı İsrail ve Dokumar Takdim Etmoktaman. İcazetimiz ve dersin kolyan kısmını İngiliz filada devam ettirsin. Hi my dear students, today's video lesson is presented by me. Uh, Dalhumar Israelova, English language instructor at National University of Uzbekistan, named after Mirza Lugbek, Foreign Philology Faculty, English Philology Department. And today's video lesson is designed for second year students studying main foreign language and the, uh, let's say, particularly sub-modal mass media. And the topic of today's class is choosing headlines for newspaper articles. So let me introduce you with the agenda of today's class. At the beginning, I will be background on today's topic. The reason why the, uh, to choose proper headlines, the key challenges, and how to choose pro, uh, headlines by applying tech tests provided as a formal instruction of today's class. And at the end, as usual, I will briefly sum up today's uh, main ideas. So let's start today's class. So can you? Uh, activate your previous knowledge related to the headline and uh, uh, tell me uh, what is headline what headline is so headline is a title for an article in a newspaper and sometimes it's one line and sometimes it's more than one line and it usually set in a larger and bolder type than the body of the article and headlines indicate the subject matter or content of the article and uh, you may ask question why is there is a ne there is a need to choose a headline why not just uh, write article without any headlines so uh, nowadays uh, headlines are becoming increasingly important and in, in the internet age and people who are living in digital age they will just uh, search uh, uh, uh, some p uh, topics which they want to read by search engines and they will just type uh, keywords and if the headline uh, can can contains these keywords they will just uh, uh, read this source and uh, headlines serve as a source material for search engines and uh, they should be very clear and specific telling the reader what the story is about and also headlines should be interesting enough to draw readers uh, into the uh, reading the article and most expert Experts say that uh, just choosing very proper headline is your first and last chance to grab your reader's attention. And how to choose proper headline? And uh, according to the research, uh, that uh, brilliant headlines consist uh, between five to ten words uh, at the most, and they should be, uh, as I mentioned, very accurate and specific. And also, present tense and active verbs are applied in most headlines. And uh, just avoid start uh, starting your headlines with a verb. And of course, as uh, you know from our previous classes, that infinitive form of verb. Um, is used in order to indicate uh, for future actions and uh, avoid using articles a and and z and of course instead of using conjunction uh, and you can substitute it with a comma so here you can see just a sample uh, in which one event related with the President of United States is described uh, with different headlines. Uh, just one event, but various headlines. In Washington Post, it is given in uh, another style, in CNN, in Wall Street Journal. Uh, you can see uh, different uh, techniques applied in these headlines. And the headline should be complete sentences or imply complete sentences. Uh, it means the, uh, the reader shouldn't have uh, such kind of uh, questions like who did this action, why, when, and uh, where uh, this event happened. For example, here you can see that um, Diana was still alive hours before she died means that we know that this incident happened with Lady D and that uh, she was uh, not dead even though she uh, she was a uh, <coughs> Uh, participant of a uh, car accident and uh, don't use unidentified pronouns like they uh, because you should be more specific and of course you should avoid like uh, clever for clever sake just uh, you shouldn't leave your uh, reader in uh, guessing what is going about uh, what is the text or what is the article about uh, with the this headline here you can see with a brilliant uh, uh, headline uh, 
uh, in a daily express just a one word piece uh, and these headlines means that the uh, world war ii was ended and agreement on peace was signed uh, and etc so and you should also avoid repetition because headlines summarize and they don't repeat the lead and here you can see that united states attack it and here uh, this uh, headline summarizes the main ideas uh, which is mentioned uh, which are mentioned in newspaper and there are of course some challenges you may come across while choosing headlines and one of them is just choosing a limited number of words may be somehow cha uh, challenge for you as it is somehow difficult to convey the main point of an article with uh, within uh, the word limit of five to ten words and newspaper headlines are limited by the space available on the printed page so that make sure that uh, you will uh, develop your uh, headlines uh, accordingly and word choice of course and clarity are crucial to good headline and make sure that you don't make any grammar uh, mistakes uh, grammar or vocabulary mistakes while uh, writing headlines and in the digital age newspaper headlines for online publications must also be searchable in search engines and make reader want to click on them to read more and how to write uh, let's say brilliant headlines first of course first of all uh, you should understand the key elements of newspaper headline that uh, it should be factually correct con and connect to ordinary readers and they also attract should also attract attention using active words and match uh, the tone of the article and of course as i mentioned in our previous classes accuracy is very important when writing a newspaper headline uh, because you don't of course you don't want to create uh, unintended meaning or confuse your reader uh, by using inaccuracy uh, by uh, applying unconsciously inaccuracy in your headlines and of course you should avoid exaggeration and uh, or embellishing the content in the article uh, by using an overblown headline and instead of uh, using such kind of uh, our blower headlines you will uh, you can just uh, communicate clearly with your uh, reader with your audience through a short and in most cases uh, in most cases one to three word headline and you should also try to solve a problem or answer a question in your headline uh, because you want if you want to draw your reader in by using the headline uh, it should be very uh, let's say professionally created in order to pick uh, pick the interest or curiosity and they should also motivate the reader to read the rest of the article and uh, often readers will be willing to read the headline uh, that provides factual information uh, and which can provide some solution to the problem uh, they may have in their real life and uh, you should also <coughs> Uh, as I mentioned, you can just also provide some questions on a, a very actual um, problems um, in the nowadays uh, world. And one of the uh, very, uh, let's say, effective te uh, techniques, you, uh, which is uh, which are applied by newspaper professionals, is a tech test, and the tech test uh, stands for taste, attractiveness, clarity, and the truth. These four, uh, let's say, components play crucial role uh, in uh, creating proper headline. If you use them accordingly, your your headlines will be eye catchy and they will grab your readers' attention. And ask yourself the following questions in relation to your headline: For, Like, can anything in the headline be taken the wrong way? Is it attractive to the reader? Or can it be proved so it's more engaging and interesting without sacrificing accuracy? And is it in good taste? I mean, and is there anything possibly offensive? Uh, and etc. So, if uh, does it communicate the key points of the article? Is it clear and simple for your reader? Does it use active words and active verbs? Uh, are there any odd words or double meanings so that may, uh, your readers may get? Uh, lost while uh, analyzing uh, the real message of your headline and uh, if you 
uh, answer no to any of these questions, you will need re to rethink the headline and adjust it so it meets the TACT criteria. So as you can 